Hi everybody, this is Jovo from Outdoors Frax site. In this video I want to address this question, how to detect crevasse on a glacier. I decided to put the, this picture as, a, as my top picture in the post which I'm showing here. This is from my tour to uh, Bishorn in the Swiss Alps. And the reason for having it here is because of this perfectly smooth slope of the mountain, which looked, uh, looks so uh, cool. Uh, the snow was uh, rock hard when I was walking uh, here, so as you see, what you see here as a, as a trail is actually from the day before because the snow melts during the day and uh, then you can see uh, people make such a trail by walking. And the reason for showing it here is actually that uh, the route goes over there and uh, I, I saw a video on YouTube where somebody disappeared in a crevasse which is here. So it's unbelievable that you have crevasses. Uh, in such a beautifully uh, shaped glacier and uh, I had this video on my mountaineering site and re later realized that it was removed from the uh, YouTube, from YouTube, I don't know why but anyway it was about a rescue from a person who disappeared in this uh, same glacier uh, but they managed to, to save him so the point of the story is that sometimes you simply have no idea there are uh, crevasses and you walk like what I did uh, I was going solo here which is totally crazy and irresponsible so what to do uh, is there some ways that can help you to navigate such a, such places at least to some extent safely so one way is to is a visual inspection of a glacier from a safe distance and uh, here is one example imagine that you have to pass such a glacier next morning and you are in a situation that you can watch it from a distance and then you will notice some uh, shapes that indicate the presence of crevasses like here this is what is called Bergschrund uh, type of crevasse which is hid hidden here in the, in the snow you can see also some lines here and depression here so no doubt these are crevasses covered by flow by snow so now if you want to plan your route to let's say here you would probably want to go this way like this and then pass this final section here and may maybe here and then go to the summit so this can help if you have a chance to study uh, such a glacier from distance or such a photo so make a sketch and uh, have it with you next morning so that you can uh, avoid such potentially uh, dangerous uh, places when you are on a glacier of course it's uh, much uh, more difficult uh, because you don't see so clearly and from watching from from the side and or from inspecting such photos you can also uh, conclude that some passages that look safe when you are there actually are not safe for instance here most likely these crevasses go all the way from one side to another you have snow here and if you are there it will be like on my top picture above smooth perfectly uh, look it can look perfectly safe but actually there are crevasses that go all the way from one side to another they are simply covered you see some difference in color here and in the picture above you see those sagging uh, area so these and difference in, in color here so these are indications of uh, crevasses and it's uh, good to inspect such places either from photos like here or from a safe distance now what can you do if you don't see anything uh, for example like here uh, this was my tour to Rosa Blanche glacier in Swiss Alps so here I actually applied what I'm telling in this uh, video I inspected photos of this uh, glacier from some photos that I found on internet 
uh, and those were uh, with the glacier with much less snow on it. And I knew that it was full of crevasses. So when I was here, uh, I had much more snow. Crevasses were not visible at all. I didn't see any, any glacier here. And I decided to follow this snow ridge, which you see here. So this is accumulation, a huge accumulation of snow. And I felt safer by walking over this ridge, which actually continues if you look closely. So I was following it like here, uh, like this line, and then till this point, and then continue to, to the summit. Now, there are, I have seen some classification of uh, types of crevasses. So they speak about transfers, shear, and long, longitudinal crevasses. For example, longitudinal crevasses uh, tend to appear at places where glacier valley spreads and then the ice spreads as well and then you can expect some longitudinal uh, crevasses along a glacier. Shear crevasses may develop uh, in the areas where the glacier is more flat. So imagine a glacier tongue and then the, uh, some flat area where the glacier uh, s s uh, moves slowly and the shear crevasses may develop close to the walls of the valley. Transverse uh, crevasses appear at places where glacier uh, tends to flow faster. But can this really help if you find yourself in such a place? This is a large uh, glaciated uh, plateau in Swiss Alps where you have some visible and more invisible uh, crevasses in all possible directions and there is no how to say some some pattern or global orientation of these uh, crevasses you are not safe on such a place this is a fact so it's crazy to go alone uh, without partners three four this would be perfect uh, unfortunately i was crazy enough to go here uh, alone because i didn't have a partner but as i said uh, there are some ways that may help and perhaps you can navigate safely, like in this picture. If you see such uh, accumulation of rocks and boulders, and uh, it's obvious that on such a glacier you have a lot of crevasses, perhaps walking over those uh, rocks or close to them can be safer than walking uh, away from them. So it, this can uh, help you at least in some part of your route, as it was in my case, because I was walking from this side and then I continued over there in this direction, which is much steeper. Uh, I added here uh, one sh short video which shows how uh, some, some footage from obviously helmet camera, uh, somebody uh, descending into a crevasse to save some people that disappeared there. Uh, it's a short video, but it looks scary just to know how bad it can be. Uh, so this is uh, all I wanted to say here. Uh, there is link below this video and you can follow it and come and read this text in detail. Thank you for watching.